Hello and welcome to Craftastrophe. We have a fun craft today that we're going to make. So we're going to make a chalkboard frame. And so basically what we're gonna do is paint it. And I was unable to get this back part off, so instead of doing it in two parts, we're gonna do it um, kind of in two parts, but in one part. So we're gonna keep it all on and we're gonna be very careful how we do it. But I do suggest that you take the back side off and then you have the the front part, the glass part, um, available for doing the chalk part separately from the actual frame part. So in this case, we have to do it all together because I can't get this off and I don't want to break it. So we will start with doing the paint on the outside because that'll be the easiest way to do it. So we have these sponge brushes. And then I have some paints. I have yellow and blue, which you can use any color you like. But I'm using those two colors for this because they're pretty and nice and springy. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the whole entire frame blue. And then I'm going to use the yellow for some outside creative designs. So what we're going to do is just go along here and paint. And then just make sure that you don't get it on the glass part here. And like I said, if you do it separately, you don't have to worry about it as much. So our blue paint is looking really pretty so far. Here's what I have. And I will uh, probably do a second coat just so that the wood part doesn't, um, isn't seen still. This is a very pretty, nice, bright blue color. So it'll go with any anything in the house, basically. Make sure there's no lumpy spots on there. Make sure it's nice and smooth. Here we have this part done. And then now I'm going to color the outside part of this. I think I'll do that in yellow because it'll be pretty. You can use different types of brushes and different sizes, whatever works for you. I do suggest to be careful so that the two colors don't smear together. And then the other option is to wait until the blue paint is done or whatever color you're doing in the part and then paint the other part later. Also might be a good idea if the edges are rough if you're using um, a wood uh, base to um, sandpaper it so that it's nice and smooth so that you get a nice te texture at the end. But sandpaper it before you paint on it. If you paint on it then all the paint goes away. Do some touch ups later after it dries. We just keep painting that and then once it's dry, we'll go on to the chalk part. Okay, so we got the double paint on there. We got the blue and the yellow and we're going to let the yellow dry and maybe do a little touch up on it. So while that's drying, I'm going to put the chalk paint on here. So we open up the chalk paint, which is super cool and in one of my other videos, um, it shows um, how to do it with a pot. So what we'll do is we're going to dab it on here, and we're going to paint it, and then when that dries, it does take an hour to dry, so once that's dry, then we have to put on a second coat, and then we have to wait 24 hours. And once this is done, I'll show you uh, how it's been painted on, and we'll wait an hour to do our second coat. We let the paint dry, and so I actually had to put some regular paint onto the um, glass part here. Uh, because the chalk stuff just wanted to slide off and it didn't want to um, solidify into the glass. So since we had to do that, I had to let that dry first. Now I can put the chalk onto this part where I put the paint. So we will put that on real quick here. And then like I said, we'll have to let it dry for an hour before we can do the second coat. This is coming on so much better now. i make it nice and thick. And this will be a fun way to write like little notes or little pictures or all that sort of stuff with chalk on a little picture frame. You can do little pictures, you do pretty much anything you want with it. Be very careful at the end so that you don't get it on the, the top part up there, on the edge. And if it does get on the edge, you can just go back with a small brush and then touch up the little edges so that it has the correct color on it. So we'll let this, um, this round sit and let it dry and then we'll have to do the second coat to make it look more solid colored. So 
right now you can still see, probably won't be able to see in the picture, but you can kind of see there's streaks in there. You don't want those streaks. You want it to be nice and solid and flat so that you'll be able to write on it and erase it and all that sort of stuff. Okay, we got that all decorated, so now we're going to let that dry and sit. And then we'll clean this off a little bit later. And what I'm going to do right now, since this is attached, and that's drying right there, I'm going to decorate the edge around the, uh, around the frame. So I'm going to decorate this. And I'm going to use this little sponge brush here. And there's a couple different sizes, and I think it'll be cool to make some little like sponge dots on there. So I'm going to use yellow and put it on my little tray here. So what I'll do here is use this um, newspaper right here. I'm going to use it so that I can dab this on here, and then I'm going to dab some of that off so it's not like so gloppy. And then just kind of do that a couple times, and then I'm just going to do these little sponge dots all over that. And then it'll have a nice little design on it. You can draw on it, you can use like little paint brushes, and then do some like detailed drawing. But for this um, specific project here, I'm just going to do some little sponge dots. I'm going to do different sizes, so I have this big size, and I have a smaller size, and then I have this tiny little one, and a medium size one. So I'm going to just do a whole bunch of dots and we will have an awesome frame. And they're all come out differently, some will be like really light and some will be really thick, but whatever you want it to be, it will look awesome and if you don't like it, you can always color over it with the original color and redo it. So I'm liking this so far, so just keep going around here, blobbing some blobs around make it however you want and it looks pretty cool. And then along the edges I'm just going to use a little piece and just do some little side pieces right there just make it look a little on the creative side. Okay so here we have that and we have all our little splotches on there and like I said you can use different colors or whatever you like. And now we're just going to wait until this dries so we can put the second coat on so we have to wait an hour. And then after the hour is up, we can do the second coat, and then we'll have to wait 24 hours to be able to show the final product with some writing on it. We've waited for 24 hours, and now our chalkboard is ready to be used. So what we'll do is we'll use our chalk, and you can use different colors or white, and right here I have the white. So we are going to draw on here. So here is what I have written. And that's basically the end of this video. So all you have to do is pick whatever color paint you want. So in this case I did yellow and blue. And then um, the chalk is a black color. And then um, the chalk you get, you can use colored chalk or you can use white chalk. And then um, you can put it up wherever you want. You can hang it up on the wall. You can just hang it this way if it has a little back area that has a little um, easel thing. And uh, basically, that's all you gotta do. So here is the final product of our frame chalkboard project. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Well, hello, crafty people. Thanks for watching Craftastrophe today. Check out the last video I made, and don't forget to click on the subscribe button to watch the future videos that I make, and watch the past videos I've made. Also, take a look at our other channels. We got some cool stuff going on there too. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.